Well, we're back on the body swap. Now I've got all kinds of things in, uh, in works right now, but the video is pretty popular on the body swap. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead. This is what's kind of holding me up from doing anything to this car plus the other projects. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, this is where I'm at at the top. This is the channel. The factory wipers for the 2013-14 were here and it had the cow that goes on top. Now, I'm gonna be relocating that. The wipers will now be on the inside like the 67. So I've got to make something for this mount from 67 body. And I want this cow panel to function just like it did in 67 and mod it into this 2013-14. So, here we have the cow panel that I have cut down. Now, before this cow would have welded all the way to that lower cow section. But what I'm gonna do, that's where the wipers mount on the inside over here. I will weld this upper cow to this lower cow so that that is one solid piece. After that, all this intersection is going to be cut out and I will probably just be able to use this flange close to the windshield lip. I need that because that's where my wipers go through. So we'll have to have that. So we're going to get this lower section here, this lower cow cut down to where it will fit in this car. Okay, now I have the inner and outer cow screwed on right here and over there. It's just sitting in place right here. Now on the inside, it's very, very close to this. Now a lot of people don't put wipers on them or defrost. Well, I'm gonna have to modify this defrost vent and then the wiper is gonna be extremely close. Now if you look, you can see exactly how close that wiper opening is to where that defrost vent is. It's all over it. So I'll show you exactly what I had to do to fix that. This is how much of the cowling, the lower cow panel that I've cut out. This is the factory uh, wiper assembly that goes on that cow panel. This right here screws up in the bottom side under the dash and this course fits through the top of the cow. Well, as you can tell, that is a lot of reach and I need that much reach. That's, that's just too much. It's all over my defroster. So I made this bracket here. I cut down my rod. So now you can see big difference so everything from here to here is still the same so at, from outside the car this is still going to stick out exactly how it needs to stick out from the factory but on the inside what you will not see is how i cut all this down uh, notched my metal bracket and then welded it real good right there so that it can fit in there so you can just kind of see a little side to side comparison exactly how much more clearance I have now for my defrost vent. This is the underside, I've taken it off. This is what it looks like on the bottom side here. This one right here fit just fine. But on this one, I wanted to angle it so that it fit perfectly centered into that hole the way it should be. So I cut it and changed up that diameter. Also moved it further in rather than having it to this edge. So all this right here, you know, the throw is where it needs to be right here for that to work but I'll have to modify these right here so that I can get the curvature right where it needs to be. So now I'll show you how much clearance there is with this right there. Okay, I regrouped on the way I've done this. I still have the factory one on this side for now. I've used this little, uh, uh, this is 5 16 rod. I made my own bracket up in there. As you can see, right there. And it does operate just like it should, of course. It's long over here, I left extra sitting out. But I've used that little quarter inch raw, uh, plate and made a little spacer in there, put it all down, which it would function further over, but it's, it's hitting the side of the thing. But that's, there's clearance. If you look straight down this piece right here, the air box, I can build a flat piece to cover up a section of this right where this right here is going to operate without any issue with that right there touching it. It'll be very close. But as you can see, it operates fully. And no issue with that. So I have to build a custom box for my defroster, but that's where I've, I've made it. I've got it secure on that side. It's also secure, secure on this side right here, just ain't welded. And on the bottom side, I'll have to weld on the bottom of the cowl, the two pieces together 
you run along it. Um, now once that's done, this right here is where the factory box was located. I will, if, if there's room between where this column is, I will make a plate that mounts to this. I'll make another custom bracket uh, for this side right here. And that's where I'll get this right here all straightened out. There's, of course, you know, defrost will go here and there's big defrost tubes that run down this. So I gotta make sure nothing's gonna come into contact with none of my arms. Uh, now this one, it's it's close to stuff, but it's, it's far enough away, it's not gonna hit anything. Uh, the only issue is this right here. I may have to take this right here off. Uh, but that's not really a big deal to me. But let me get my arm back in here. With that right there, it's supposed to go around a little bracket right there. And then I can make this right here go up, bend down, and over to where it'll go exactly where it needs to go. So that's not an issue anymore. It was an issue, but it's not an issue anymore. And you can see right there and right there, those are the two parts that mount to the top. Okay. Looking here, you can see the factory 67 uh, Mustang power window motor. It mounts right up there, and it's not contacting anything. It's got plenty of room right here, um, but it won't go up basically because of that right there. So I can cut this piece of bracket off and make it to where it'll mount to that bottom section of the firewall. And I can use the factory 67 Mustang wiper motor and it will be way up under the dash you will not be able to see it and it'll be way out of the way of everything so if that'll ever need to be replaced somebody can easily get up underneath the dash and replace that wiper motor i'm going to get the wipers with this screw here everywhere they need to go i'm going to get the throw on them correct so that they they function like they should and when they all function like they should with this bracket in place that's whenever I'm going to go ahead and take this top piece right here off, this cow panel, and I'm going to weld the bottom one exactly where it is and then make all the inner structure to where all this air vent here will still function. Air will be coming in uh, fresh air. If you put the car on fresh air mode, air will go in through the vents and then through the filter box there. So that right there I'm going to use. I'm not going to uh, block those up or I don't want to block those up. So if you do recirculation mode, it'll cut the box off where it recirculates in the car, the air, the fresh air mode, these vents should be able to work. So that's where I'm at on it. Uh, thanks for watching guys. It's just a quick little video on uh, trial and error on exactly what I've done here on this car right here to make those work. So a lot, lot more to do on the car, a lot more to get this right here. This is what I was waiting on and figuring out. And I just hadn't had time because of 69 Chevelle. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe uh, notification bell and leave any comments if you have any questions.